My second point: Where do we where where do we go from here? I believe there are two trends competing in the world. One trend stands for peace, cooperation, and development. Another trend stands for Cold War, confrontation, and conflict. The first trend represents the future. The second, the past. To a large extent, the destiny of mankind was determined by the competition of these two trends. I'm very happy to see that the first trend is getting more and more strength. Look at the past th past ten years. Unilateralism has proven to be a failure. Uh, President Obama made a very good statement before UN General Assembly. U.S. needs the world. U.S. needs to engage the world. Because U.S. alone is not able to solve the problems today, it's good. This is a very hopeful trend. However, second trend, this is a trend of the past, is still alive. We can see many manifestations of the second trend. I think this trend represents the past. We have to overcome this trend. Some people say, "Look, 21st century will be Chinese century." I disagree. Other people say, "21st century will be Asian century." I disagree. Yes, Asia is rising, but I believe we Asian we are rising in a different way. I mean, compared to U.S., compared to Europe. When U.S. started, I mean, when Europe started the,、uh, its rise, yes, was a good thing, but you inflict also a lot of suffering upon others. Asia is rising, China is rising. I believe the most important feature of this rise is we are sharing the growth with others. Look at China. In the past 30 years, we have annual, I mean, average, an,、uh, annual average growth, 9.8 percent for past 30 years. Very strong growth. We achieve it through cooperation with others, not against others. We achieve it with others, not against others. When I was a Chinese ambassador to France, people said, "Look, you Chinese, you took away our jobs. True or not true? In terms of the labor-intensive industry, France, Europe is not able to compete with China. But in other areas, you benefited a lot. I gave a small example. I went to you, a French supermarket, a toy, Lego." The price of this toy, 26 euro. Cost of the raw material, cost of 1.2 euro. Labor cost, 0.8 euro. What we Chinese we made is 0.8 euro. I told the French people, still you got lion's share, still you are not happy. How we can make you French people happy?、The、same thing is true with the U.S. Barbie doll the price on your supermarket twenty U.S. dollars. What we Chinese make? Thirty-five cents. Yeah, we are sharing the growth with others. So that's why I believe the twenty-first century should belong to the whole man mankind. It's global. I mean, the century of the. Mankind, not a particular、uh, continent, a particular country. My last point is: What can we learn from past twenty years? I think we can learn three things. First, 
There is no universal <laughs> panacea, universal model. Uh, there is no such thing in the world. The world is such a diverse place. Situation varies from one country to another. You can't say, look, my formula is best. My model is best. Everybody has to take it. There is no such thing in the world. Uh, yes, every country has to invent. Certainly, we have to learn from one another. We Chinese, we, we learned a lot from the outside world. You know, starting from 1978, we sent lots of students abroad to learn. 2.2 million students. We sent 2.2 million students. Now every year, 100,000 to 150,000 students are sent abroad to learn from outside world. It doesn't mean that world has a universal panacea, universal receipt. No, there's no such a thing. My second thing we can learn from past, every country has to use its brain, starting from the reality of this or that country, the given country. In 19, early 1990s, I was stationed in Brussels. And people say, look, shock therapy is such a good thing. You Chinese, you have to adopt it. I say, no. 2,500 years ago, Confucius said this. With too much haste, you will not re reach your goal. This is against the Chinese traditional philosophy. Certainly, the Chinese will not adopt shock therapy. 20 years later, we, we see the result. Third thing we can learn from the past 30 years, uh, for past 20 years, is we have to get rid of that kind of mentality. My way or no way. Uh, you know, no one likes it. But if you look at the behavior of uh, quite a few countries in the world, as some people point out, there's such an arrogance. They believe they are best. Everybody have to, has to follow suit. If you don't, you are wrong. No. It's not true. Uh, you know, 19th century was European century. 20th century was American century. The West, I mean, past centuries were Western dominated centuries. And the people developed such a mentality. Uh, my way is the best way. <laughs> uh, we have to give lecture, we have to lecture everybody. With a new century, I mean, we see more players. We see India, we see China, we see, I mean, South Africa, we see Brazil, we see Mexico. Uh, more players come to the stage. So I think we have to learn from one another. We have to get rid of such an arrogance. So this zero-sum game mentality is about to be over. We live in a one world. We need each other. We have to help each other. So we believe in that way, tomorrow will be better. I thank you, Mr. Professor.